so today we're going to look at the new fly tying station desk setup that I've got here. I've kind of totally revamped um, my tables, a lot of the containers, and how I've set up uh, my tying station. So let's go through that and you can kind of see some of the things that I've done to make this a little bit more user friendly and that I did it super cheap. None of this stuff is expensive and we'll go through all that here. Okay, we'll start off with the, the wide view of the room. And uh, then into the extra storage area, which is a closet here. But, uh, so we'll start with that. This is where I put most of the extra materials and things. For instance, I've got a drawer of just extra dubbing and dubbing containers. These are ones that I don't use a lot. Then some foam. And then a lot of the stuff is just either extras or colors that I don't use a ton just to kind of store things out of the way that I don't need on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's just all in the closet here. Okay, now switching to the fly tying area. These are IKEA tables, so they're super cheap. I think I've gotten several of these for between $15 and $20. The corner unit was uh, clearance and I bought that tabletop for 10 bucks and the legs four bucks each. Anyway, the point is the stuff's pretty cheap if you look for it. Nothing, no fancy roll top desks or anything like that. Uh, biggest thing here, as you can see, I've got my tying area set up and as many of the um, common materials that I use in drawers or bins of some sort, depending on what we're talking about. And then I, uh, with my OCD, I label them. So I can come over here and look at all the things I've got labeling, most of them. So now starting with the vise, that's obviously front and center, but one thing that I like to do is have uh, my tools in the back. I can just reach around the vise to pick them up. Uh, I also like to have a little lap desk area that I can kind of put materials on because when you're tying it's important to have as many of the materials within easy reach. You don't want to have to be uh, reaching across for things. Uh, so you know this kind of gives you a lot of work area. I've got a table over here that uh, gives me some more area to expand and kind of organize things. Uh, got all my dubbing containers and then again all of the uh, materials and things broken down into drawers of these little Rubbermaid uh, plastic bins. You can get these at Walmart. They're super cheap. Um, I've got a lot of my threads on these uh, fancy little thread spool hold or thread bobbin holders. And then I've got my hooks back in there. Got some beads. And uh, just the area kind of set up like that. And that's where we take pictures of some of the flies. And then the... Uh, most important thing I think with a lot of the setups is going to be lighting. So I've got a, a ring light here. It gives good dispersed light. Uh, another kind of a real light, uh, daylight type colored light. And then a third one just off to the side. I like to have my light snob and I like to have a light come in from different directions. And then for the things that I can't fit up on top of the desk, I'll have down below. And then I still got plenty of room underneath and again back to this table here which is actually where we'll film uh, the fly tying tutorials. It gives a little bit extra room to move around and Cheech can make a mess and I don't have to have it affect the good area of my tying desk. So uh, that's about it as far as the desk goes. Pretty easy. Uh, most of the stuff is, uh, is not set. It's just flat surfaces and I kind of build it up with these bins and a little shelving unit like that. So it makes it very configurable. But uh, anyway, that's how I've set it up. It works for me.